The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Now we're talking. A game I spent hours watching my brother play back in the day. Barry McGuigan's boxing could well lead you to believe that you step into the boxing gloves of the clone cyclone, Barry McGuigan himself, and take to the ring. You don't. The idea behind the game is to work your way through the many professionals and semi-professionals of the world, so you can take on the mighty Irishman himself and try to beat him. When you are assembling your boxer, you can select the race, colour of shorts, hair, personality ranging from loudmouth to nice guy, and then the actual type of fighter he is. You have several options, dancer, boxer, mixed, slugger and bulldog. These all give you a really individual style and therefore gives a lot of scope to playing the game. Opponent chosen, it's wise to get in a spot of training. You're told what sort of fight you'll be having, the boxer's form, and how many weeks preparation there is before the fight. Training time is allocated for building up in five separate areas. Road work, light bag, heavy bag, weights, and spa time. Once you've selected your training, you can then fight an opponent. Fighting takes place in a packed arena, and your boxer is viewed panoramically from the side in semi 3D. The boxers move backwards and forward, seemingly at their own will, and you have a total of nine moves that can be used to knock down your opponent. Punches under your control include jabs, hooks, cross punches, uppercuts, body blows, and also a guard up, so you can ward off an attacking opponent without getting hurt. Shown on screen whilst you're fighting is the time, round number, points, endurance and count. The count comes into action when you or your opponent gets knocked down. While fighting there is a constant update of your condition and how the crowd is reacting. If you manage to win the fight then you are automatically moved up the elite ranks of boxing and can challenge the 19 stronger opponents and ultimately challenge McGuigan himself. All these challenges have their own personalities and an individual fighting style. And as you progress up the ranks, you are put against tougher and more determined boxers who are strong, skillful and cunning. There is also a two player option, which allows you to battle it out with a human opponent and both try to work their way to the top. Building your boxer is brilliant fun and you can personalize him to become almost like yourself or how you'd like yourself to be if you were a boxer. The movement isn't too difficult to master, and once you have grasped it all, you can have some excellent fights. The graphics are very good indeed, with incredibly realistic animation and some nice touches like flashes from cameras as a knockout punch is photographed. The sound matches the animation too, with realistic leather on skin effects. I really enjoyed this game as I battled my way to professionalism and with the training, personalisation and excellent range of moves you can now become a boxer without hurting yourself. Barry McGuigan's World Championship Boxing is quite simply an excellent game and great fun. If you agree then please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. As always I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching this video and kindly ask that if you enjoy these nostalgic Commodore videos then please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even share some of these videos to your social media platforms. It spurs me on to ensure we get all of these retro classics covered so that people can realise the true beauty of these games in their former glory. There's a lot more to come so I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.